welcome to the best of the best years. This month, our production staff will take a fond look back at their favorite stories from the past season. Hello and welcome to the best years. I'm Lee Kobus, and typically you have Sandy Levine in this seat, but this is the one time a year where the entire crew comes together and takes a look at all the stories that have been done in the past year. And we like to show you which ones we think are our favorites. And I'm joined by Roseanne Durso, executive producer of the program, and Ralph Bertini, who is the director, editor, shooter, cook and bottle washer, everything on the program, in addition to a lot of other talented people that are assisting us all throughout the year uh, to make this program possible for you. Uh, Ralph, we're going to start with you because you had a particularly favorite story, and it involves Barnegat Light. Uh, yeah, Barnegat Light was uh, fascinating to me because that the, the lighthouse had been dormant for many, many years. And on January 1st, 2009, uh, they had purchased new lamp, new windows, and it was relit for the first time. Uh, I enjoyed the piece because it's a piece of local history. Uh, uh, everybody knows Barnica Light. It's a, a landmark. The Coast Guard was there celebrating the fact that this was now an operating lighthouse and an aid to navigation. Uh, but I did find one fact about the lighthouse that I didn't know before, that there's no elevator. And when you have to carry all of the equipment to the top of a 300-foot tall lighthouse, you better be in shape. Hope you enjoy it. Living in Barnegat Light is like living in no other place. Uh, it's a village. It's different than any other town on the island. It has its own government. It, uh, we have the Coast Guard station. We have the we have the inlet. We have a commercial fishing uh, fleet. We just there's just a lot of things that make this the most unique place on the island to live. In January 2009. Visitors and residents of Barnegat Light, located on Long Beach Island, New Jersey, witnessed the historic relighting of Barnegat Lighthouse. Built in the 19th century, this Jersey Shore icon still stands tall after enduring storms, erosion, and the march of time. Friends of Barnegat Lighthouse State Park got started with a small group of volunteers who were volu volunteering at the Interpretive Center. Our group is uh, started with maybe five or six people, and uh, we have over a hundred members. And it was the 150th anniversary of the lighthouse. We wanted to do something special, and so we came up with the idea of relighting the lighthouse. Before construction, New Jersey's rocky coastline caused wrecks and sometimes death for sailors heading through these waterways during storms, fog, or in the dark of night. In 1834, the first lighthouse was built. Just 40 feet tall, oil lamps and silver reflectors emitted a weak beam reaching 10 miles out to sea. Sailors mistook this dim light for another vessel and the shipwrecks continued. So a new lighthouse was built 900 feet south of the old one. It stood 161 feet tall and projected a white light 20 miles out. The new lighthouse, which residents dubbed Old Barney, was lit on January 1st, 1859. Over the next 60 years, the lighthouse signal was lit each night at dusk by a keeper and two assistants. The men lived with their families in a large two-story home that stood next to the tower. The lighthouse once served as a beacon of safe passage for transatlantic ships heading to New York and Philadelphia. By 1927, radio communication ended the need for the lighthouse. That year, Old Barney's oil light was replaced by a weak electric bulb. Its magnificent lens removed and later placed in the Barnegat Light Museum. The lighthouse was decommissioned in 1944 and named a state park and landmark in 1970. Wind, weather, and time continued to age Old Barney, but countless visitors still climbed its 217 steps for an aerial view of the island. Over the next 30 years, public interest grew in seeing the lighthouse beam once again. And in late 2008, Old Barney received a new Lucite panel lens to project a beam of 22 nautical miles. 
The Icon's weathered old windows were also replaced with stronger, crystal clear ones. For me, being on the water, you know, if you have a case 20 miles offshore, you can't see anything, but you can still see the lighthouse, and it's nice to see that, you know, lets you know you're still near home, you know, it's, it's still within reach. I think that having relighted the lighthouse, it's, it's taken it back to its main purpose and the main purpose was to be a navigational aid. And um, it's, so it's a working lighthouse again, rather than just a building standing there would have, with a bulb in the top of it. And I think it's made, it's made us in town here very proud, and I think people throughout the state are happy to see, because it's an icon wherever you go in the state, and now it's a working lighthouse again, and uh, I think it's returned to the purpose that it was meant to be. After much planning, it was announced that Old Barney would be relit at dusk on New Year's Day, 2009. But given the severe cold and off season, local officials didn't think many would attend the historic event. Officials were wrong. Thousands of visitors from across New Jersey and surrounding states streamed onto the island. Police scrambled to direct the heavy flow of traffic as local and national news agencies arrived in vans with satellite dishes. A U.S. Coast Guard cutter bobbed offshore, everyone waiting for old Barney's light to shine. It was really a thrill that night when they relit the lighthouse. Um, we had 10,000 people, and that's the most people that had ever really been in this town at one time. And it was such a thrill that when the light went on and the cheers went up and horns started to blow and there were tears coming down my eyes because it was just such, it was just such an emotional thing. And so it was on January 1st, 2009, Barnegat Lighthouse was relit and proudly beamed across the horizon. With continued support and funding, Perhaps folks in 150 years will be able to look up and enjoy the signal that has lighted the way for sailors and vacationers over the centuries.